Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're back here at Silver Dollar City in Missouri for day number two. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our day one vlog where we got on all the coasters and had such a good day. Oh, it was brilliant. We absolutely love it here at Silver Dollar City. That much so, I wanted to have two days here this time. And you know what? I'm really pleased we did because we've got so much more to see today. Starting off, we're going to be heading into the Marble Cave, aren't we? We've heard so much good stuff about this. So I'm really looking forward to getting in there and seeing what it's like. Never done it before, so I'm really excited for it along with that we're going to have a ride on the train today around the park we're going to go and see the saloon show and maybe see some other entertainment around silver dollar city and of course we've got some more rides to get on as well including not one but two water rides today oh, no not those rapids <laughs> i'm really looking forward to mystic river falls which is the rapids it's new since last time i was here we had a little look at it yesterday and it looks fantastic a really unique attraction so we're going to head on to that along with that you've got the american plunge which is a flume ride there's actually a splash battle that i may go on today as well it's gonna be another hot lovely day uh, so we may as well make the most of it and of course we've got some more rides to check out um, there's an SNS swing we've got a shot tower here some more family rides to see it's gonna be a completely different vlog to yesterday loads more to see as we continue on here at Silver Dollar City back inside the park then now and really looking forward to a second day here and yes we're gonna be starting off with the marble cave you can see it's actually being designated a registered natural landmark which is really cool and yeah, here's a look at the sign with some more information saying that beneath where we stand lies the historic cavern whose anticipated riches caused adventurous miners to come here years ago and establish their settlement at Silver Dollar City. There's actually 32 miles of marble cave passageways that have been explored underneath and we've got the huge ceiling in there um, which is a cathedral room and that's been declared by geologists to be the world's largest natural dome. This is what makes the park very special. Never seen it before and we're looking forward to this very much aren't we Charlotte? Yeah, I really don't know what to expect but I'm looking forward to it. Talks can last up to an hour I believe. Yeah, that's quite a long time isn't it? it is, yeah. So we're going to get some highlights um, and start our day with it this morning. The first tour's at 9.30. We've got down here nice and early so we can be on the first one um, because the tours are normally like every hour and uh, yeah, we know they get quite busy. I think you can have 40 odd people at a time. So it's definitely worth getting down here early and starting off the day with this. And here's a look at the Marvel Cave entrance. Get ready to experience the underground world of the Marvel Cave. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Limit of 45 people per tour. And as you can see, we're going to pass through several passageways. Some of the smallest tunnels will be four foot tall, as we can see from the entrance just here that we have to go through. And here we go, starting our journey down into the Marble Cave. Oh, oh, oh. Look oh, at this. God. Look at the scale of this here. Like a 200 foot drop right there. Wow. It's just hard to get the scale, isn't it? That is amazing. Blimey. One, two, three. Good morning, Marvel! Oh. <laughs> oh no, looks like that's going to be our last view for now at the Marvel Cave because due to lightning overhead, we're actually having to come out of the cave and we can't continue the tour any further. Oh, what a shame. Oh, well, there we go. Our tour has come to an abrupt end due to lightning. Yeah, we've had to come out of the cave. Safety is always paramount, though. They did actually say to us uh, that it's 700 steps in total, half a mile. But if there was lightning whilst we were down there, we'd actually have to walk all the way back and climb up them 700 steps. I suppose we are quite lucky that we was only in like the first room, otherwise we'd have had yeah. a long walk back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, normally you go all the way through the caves and then you get on like a tram ride that brings you up. You have to climb up some steps, but not 700. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit gutted, but at least we did get to see it. And what we saw was very impressive. Uh, they have actually gave us a fast track to use on another ride, um, which is really kind of them. But you know what? We'll head back there later on when the weather clears up and fingers crossed we'll get in there. Well already the weather seems to be picking up which is a good sign so hopefully we'll get down the cave later on. Well yeah we're heading on to time travel they're just here. Waiting about 10 minutes for another ride on this mad extreme spinning coaster. Look at it up here there in the station. Oh it's so atmospheric it really is and yeah I do love how all the staff are wearing the theme costumes as well. It really you makes sense. Oh, a nice morning ride there on Time Traveller. And out of all the rides you've had on this over the past couple of days, that was definitely the best spin on there in my opinion like we had a really good spin around on there didn't we that we time did, did. I'm a bit wet on there. <laughs> yeah it's only a little bit of drizzle Not though too bad, to, to be honest we've done so well these past two weeks with the weather uh, it really has been fantastic uh, this is really the first proper rain that we've seen this trip it is. so we've 
been really lucky actually. Yeah, definitely. We're actually going to go and head and see the saloon show shortly because that's indoors. The show at 11 o'clock. So I thought we'll do that. It's looking likely that this afternoon uh, the weather's really going to pick up. So yeah, we'll definitely uh, have another attempt at going all the way into the Marble Cave. But you know what? Loved getting back on Time Traveller there. And of course, in the day one vlog, shared lots of official on-ride POVs. Uh, so if you want to see on-ride footage from these, check out the day one vlog. All right, let's head up this way. Hey. Right then, we're going to have a walk through Grandfather's Mansion just over here now. Hey. <laughs> there he is, just up there. He looks a bit creepy, doesn't he? Oh, there we go. He's closing the curtain now. A little walk through here. It's got quite a creepy vibe when you enter here. Oh, you feel the room, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, a bit of a slant just in here. <laughs> you can't really see it on the camera, but it's kind of moving side to side. And there's Grandad, just in his rocking chair. <laughs> it's a very cool scene. Our whole room is just upside down, even the clock is going the other way there. I love quirky kind of walkthrough attractions like this. <laughs> you can't really tell on camera. You know, this whole room is all slanted off to the right hand side. You've got all the mirrors in there too. There we are. Hey! <laughs> oh, this is cool. Let's all sideways. Be careful. Yeah, I should have been in here. I actually like this. You are right there, Charlotte? This is so strange. <laughs> so yeah, you're kind of rocking off to the left hand side just here. It's very this different. Best one of these rooms I've been in. <laughs> 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 oh, there we go. I'm, I'm back on the seat. There we go. Oh, oh, you're all right. There we go. That's it. Literally. It's all slanted this way. It's really hard to get out of that corner. That's how people are struggling. How did you find that, Charlotte? That was really trippy, that was. It was so hard to walk. A bit like a Noah's Ark attraction, like with it slightly moving, but yeah, it was really weird, Everyone that was. was loving it. Yeah, it was great. Like your eyes, it just takes time to get used to, it doesn't it, in there? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to make our way down to the saloon now. It's raining again, but we'll make the most of it. We're going to go and watch the show. And here we go. Here's the entrance to the Silver Dollar Saloon. Yeah, looking forward to this. Show's at 11 o'clock. It's 10.30 now. And yeah, we can wait the cover over here too which is great and here we are then inside the saloon wow look at this in here very authentic what i love about this venue it's really small very intimate really close to the stage looking forward to this show oh it's great in here isn't it i love how small it is everyone's so close to the action
hasn't been that long that we've been dancing and singing our song. We've got the girls to make the men swoon. It's all right here in the saloon. We've had our share of bad guys. Me Murphy comes to mind. We've had our share of goofballs. Charlie's dumb, but very kind. Fifty years of song and dance. Absolutely awesome, the 50th anniversary of the Saloon Show here at Silver Dollar City. Didn't see it last time, and you know what? That was amazing, I really enjoyed that. It was just so good how close everybody was to everything that was going on. It was really authentic, and I also loved how the stage kind of expanded round to the side, onto the bar as well, that was awesome. The live band that was in there too was really made it. Uh, the pianist, and of course the drummer, and yeah, just the show was fantastic. Action packed, lots going on, um, like half an hour of lots of jokes in there, lots of humour, so and fun. Uh, yeah, lots of songs as well. It was just really good fun. Definitely recommend going to the saloon if you're coming here to Silver Dollar City. I just loved how authentic it was and many of you will probably know if you've watched the channel for a while I used to always go to the American Adventure theme park back in the UK um, not too far from where we live and yeah that closed many years ago but they had a saloon show very similar to that so it brought back some really happy childhood memories just good fun lots of laughs lots of singing and dancing and yeah just all around a fantastic show. Well the good news is whilst I was inside at the saloon show the rain has stopped it looks like it's brightening up a little bit which is good but yeah, we're going to head onto the Seoul Doll Railroad just down here now. Ready for a ride around the park on the train? That lovely carousel just over here too. A little roof on it just there. It's nice. And yeah, the train station's just around here. It's going to have a nice tour around. You also get some great views of Outlaw Run that's so well hidden from pathways. But yeah, you get great views of it from on the train. And here's the station just here. Silver Dollar City, Missouri. Frisco, Silver Dollar Line. Let's go and have a ride. We do take this back and all the words, folks. Howdy, folks! Howdy! Much more gooder. I'm Conductor Nick here on the back of the train. I'd like to be the first to welcome you all to the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. And waving his hand up there at the front of the depot. Well, that's my good friend Richard. Everybody wave, say bye, Richard. Bye, Richard. Yes, we'll be seeing him here in about 20 to 30 minutes. Plus, with him, I have Richard, just five to six hours. Over there beyond him on the left-hand side, you got the half dollar holler's old timey carousel. Then you can go get lost in the treetop trail. And then you can go on over to the bears at the holler where you can stuff your own bear and put some clothes on that bear. That way, you don't go home with a bear bear. Hey. Going home without a bear at all would be unbearable. And yes, I'm just talking about the bar stool. 
Go on in there, don't miss that saloon show. It's our 50th year anniversary of that saloon show. And we love that. Everybody say, fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! <laughs> yes, the pesky ball numbers, they came and they burned down part of our wonderful city. And we are looking for volunteer firefighters. Go on in there. Help that fire chief. Put out the region. The oh, blazing. I want to hear it again. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Where do they get enough water to put down a blazing fly? Fire? Well, right hand side. Mystic River Falls happens to tell the water flowing through there. Mystic River, River Falls. Falls. Coming out. And you got the Wilson Farms, home of that giant barn swing. Barn swing so giant it'll swing your feet up above your head 90 feet into the air. Yeah, you could say there are no chickens in that barn. After that, we find the Oh, that listen to that. how I lost my raccoon. <laughs> Over there on your right-hand side, that wooden structure mixing with all them trees is the one and the only Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run is the fastest ride in all of Silver Dollar City. has an 81-degree drop, spinning you upside down, not once. Not twice, but three whole times. Outlaw Run. Love the facts along the way. Yes, where the good guys always win. We'll get another look at Outlaw Run a little later on in our train ride. Now, I don't mean to alarm anybody, but speaking of outlaws, I did get word at the depot that those two notorious outlaws, Alfie and Ralphie Bowen, have busted down in the flooded mine prison. And as any local knows, any moonshine that you find in a stub this time of year, well, that would probably be frog water. The reason they call it frog water is to take one sip of it. Sorry. Thanks for a great tour this train. You're a long way away from the other rides here at Silver Dollar City. Reportedly though, her husband was down at the local saloon buying around for everybody singing Happy Days Are Here Again! Here it is on your right hand side folks, large metropolis of Pottersville! Hey Kabob, what you doing stopping my train on here in the middle of snake country? Ain't no scheduled stops down here! Oh. Oh, I see what's going on. It's those Coming two notorious outlaws, Alfie and Ralphie Bolin. They are flagging down the train on the right-hand side. Everybody say, oh, no. Oh, no. All righty, folks. I'm going to take you. Hey, I got an idea. I bet we should scare them off. You know, train robbers are cowards at heart. Shake your fist at them and call them ugly. Folks, that won't scare a squirrel in the middle of the road. Shake your fist at them. Call them ugly. Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Oh, yeah. What? Yankees. Yankees. Nine of them. Nine of the... You missed them, I won. There you go. Nine of the biggest show Yankees you ain't ever gonna see right up there around the bend. They got these big old wooden war sticks and they're a swinging and a swatting. Ain't hitting nothing. If they're a swinging and a swat, why aren't they hitting nothing? I think they're New York Yankees. <laughs> I can't anywhere here. I'm gonna have you a big surprise. Surprise? Oh, I love surprises. What you got? Brandy belly button. Get my surprise to Ralph. Yeah, you get my surprise to Ralph. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm Ralph. <laughs> yeah, you're Ralph. I don't want a new belly button. Why not? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? You want gold and silver? Copper dollars. Oh, I thank you. Pleasure robbing you today. <laughs> gold or silver, you? copper dollars. Oh, you go oh, there. You train over? Oh my goodness, thank you. Pleasure robbing you. <laughs> gold or silver? Thank you very much. Right Jumped on over to the other hand side of the tracks. Yes, Outlaw Run, this is her 10th year anniversary. 10 years ago when they opened her up, also gave it the Golden Ticket Award, an award given to the best ride in the world, 2013, Outlaw Run. <laughs> Golden Ticket. Yeah, Ichabod's been working hard on that train for us all morning. Over there on your left-hand side, you got that red building, the roundhouse where we store maintain our nearly 100-year-old steam trains, and on the right-hand side, Mystic River Falls. Guaranteed to get you wet and give you thrills every single time, just not necessarily in that order. All of crap with water riding all the Western Hemisphere. R1, I want you to wave and say howdy! Howdy! R2, wave and say yippee! R3 say yee-haw! Yee-haw! R4 back here will be wave and say hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, I really enjoyed that. It's about a 20 minute ride round. And also, as you saw, you got the awesome show stop scene there as well. Oh, that was so much fun. Like the audio and stuff on there was just brilliant. Yeah, of course, the train conductor on there giving us lots of information about the rides and different buildings you're so passing. Much fun. Yeah, it was great, that was. I do like how they've got the show stop scene. There's not many trains that do that. There's a few out there. I think my favourite that does it is the one at Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, where they actually come on to the train that carriages really themselves. Got me when they did that. Yeah, with all the guns and everything. But uh, no, that was great. And yeah, you get some fantastic views looking over the woods and also Outlaw Run from down there at the back as well. Yeah, really good fun that was. Oh, great fun that was. And yeah, the sun's coming out now for us. Perfect. And you know what we're trying to attempt again, don't you? The Marvel Cave. Oh, we're trying again. Do we really want to do it? Yeah, I mean, we saw it, but we want to get the full experience. Exactly. So hopefully we can get it again. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. That's the thing with us having two days here. Just to be able to take it all in. We've done the train. We've done the saloon show. We've got the water rides coming up. Oh, uh, have a look around some of the other areas. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head back to the Marvel Cave now and try and get it in. No chance of lightning. Hey, up, Charlotte's going. She's gone? Yeah, she's running away so she doesn't have to go on Mystic, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even got a poncho. Oh, no poncho required. It's getting nice now. Much quieter day here today, though, for our second day at Silver Dollar City. And here we go then, time for round number two of the Marvel Cave. We've made it to where we got last time. Let's hope we're going to get to see more this time. Yeah, here we've got the sun beaming right through. Look at this. 200 foot down. Wow. Once you guys get out the stairs, here we go. We got further already than we did last time. <laughs> As we make our way down. Of course, keeping one hand on the handrail at all times. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. Doesn't look real. I know. Got to say, the tour guy is brilliant as well. This is incredible. And yeah, we're heading all the way down there. We've been climbing down for about five minutes so far from the platform where we came in. This is incredible. Wow. It's like a covered walkway here. I'd imagine that's because of any rocks and things that might be falling down probably, just to protect us. Because yeah, we don't need to wear a helmet. I'm quite surprised actually. If this was back home, you definitely need to wear a hard hat. <laughs> There's a look back up towards where we were, right up the top there. Oh wow, a little pond down there, it's beautifully lit up as well. Yeah, it looks like the pathway kind of opens up a bit more down here. Yeah, it's really slippy as well, so you've got to be careful. So there we go, that's where we first stood, all the way up the top there. Came all the way down them steps, all the way down the ramp just here. Wow. You can see why they call it a cathedral. Uh, when we first started cave tours, the year was 1894, and it looked a lot different down here in Marple Cave. They didn't have the steel tower, so let's get rid of that. They didn't have any of our walkways, and they especially didn't have any of our electricity. So this is the natural lighting that we have, of course. What they had to get folks originally down here was on a 44-foot rickety wooden ladder. Mm. And we learned quickly that wood and water is a terrible combination <laughs> because steps would eventually just fall apart. Sometimes people might fall. But luckily, we've never had anyone die down in Marvel Cave that we talk about. Now, once you <laughs> on top of the debris pile, you were greeted by two good-looking girls. Our first cave guides were sisters. Their father purchased this cave in 1894, $10,000, a lot of money in those days, but they wanted to give cave dioxide. It's known as carbonic acid. As that comes through the solution lines, basically all the little cracks in the limestone, that rainwater will slowly dissolve calcium carbonate from the limestone. So that is uh, what opens up all these rooms. There's about six to seven solution lines and one fault line running through this room, which is why this room is so massive compared to the rest of our three and a half mile cave system. But once the solution starts to drip repeatedly, right there's a really good example, uh, the CO2 can no longer be held. So it turns to a crystalline formation called calcite. So that's all the white sparkling minerals we see down here, calcite. Hanging tight to the ceiling, we call those 
stalactites. The water will drip off those formations, kind of like an icicle, and you get formations growing from the ground that might reach the ceiling. So we call those stalagmites. Once a stalactite and a stalagmite actually connect with each other, we call them a column. This is definitely one of the best and most unique experiences I've ever done. I'm loving it here so far. And yeah, he's also just told us there's up to 30,000 bats living in here as well. <laughs> How are you finding it, Charlotte? This is fantastic. Loving it. You say it's one in the water. No, in a, like a real small pond. I'll touch anything. I'm sure this is touched all the way. Wow. This is the sort of thing that so many theme parks kind of replicate, isn't it? But this is like the real thing, the real deal down here. So is all the city. And just to think there's a full theme park above here, like, and this is all underneath. Amazing. Oh wow, you can't get the scale on camera and it's hard to even in person, but that is quite a drop down there. I haven't discovered any bats. A shoe. Yes. Right above our head is where the toes are located. Comes around the arch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Now it's the heel back over there and yeah. back around the toes. That is size 879 shoe. In case you <laughs> we get ready for it. So, I mentioned at the beginning the Osage discovering our cave. Once again, folklore, we are not sure, but what we do know, first recorded exploration didn't happen until 1869, a couple years after the Civil War. So I want to recreate what that would have looked like. So it's going to get dark in three, two, one. Oh. 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 Guys, in 1869, there was a gentleman from St. Louis. No, oh, that was awesome when he turned the lights off and we just had the candlelight. Continuing on, further down. Look at this. Incredible. A cloud room. Oh, it's pretty steep. Oh, oh it's getting pretty steep. Oh, you got to watch your head coming down this bit. <laughs> Careful there, Charlotte. Wow, look at this. <laughs> They must have just... They're not joking, are they, when they make you crawl through that little hole at the top. <laughs> wow. Lost River Canyon. Extensive passageway. <laughs> Wow, what an experience. <laughs> Literally crawling through the tunnels there. <laughs> what an experience. Hundreds of feet underground. And we just keep on heading down here in the Marble Cave at Silver Dollar City and we're going down to the lowest point now. And yeah, they've got defibrillators down here as well, just in case. Oh, I can hear a waterfall. And it sounds pretty noisy, so it must be quite a big one. Wow. Oh my God, you would not want to fall off these steps. Look at that down there. <laughs> this is why they say if you're scared of heights. Look at this. You can't see the bottom, Charlotte. Blimey. What makes it worse is the handrail's really wobbly. <laughs> Uh, 
Amazing. Well, we're just over 45 minutes into the tour. And yeah, I'd say we're going to be making our way towards the train. It's going to hopefully take us back up. <laughs> if the train's broke, you have to walk all the way back. And I wouldn't fancy that. So this is the Mystic River Passage. And I imagine that's why they called the new rapids that they owned a few years ago, Mystic River Falls. Coming back to this. And yeah, looking forward to experiencing that. It's coming up next. We're not sure how far it goes other than about a half a mile. So not uh, a little bit further of what we've done today, but you're army crawling, you're swimming in that 48 to 54 degree water. There's one spot where you only have a couple of inches of air to breathe. It's not fun, it's really not worth it. Because it opens up to a nice room, but past that room it shrinks down to about a foot of an open in order. Final part of the tour then now before we got onto the train. The exercise part of the trip, as the tour guide said. Yeah, we're going to climb up about 90 feet. Well, you know what, viewers? Instead of keep on riding, it's keep on climbing. <laughs> wow, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Crystal Grotto. Charlotte says that looks like bacon. Looks like a bit of streaky <laughs> bacon. <laughs> Look up and to your right. And there you go, we just climbed up all the way from down the bottom there. Up to here. And I think we're nearly at the train ride. Hey, and here we go. We've made it to the train. <laughs> that starts underground here. It's going to take us out and then all the way up the hillside. Back into the park. Oh, we did it. Hey. Built back in nineteen fifty eight, there's over a thousand feet of cable that's pulling us up this hillside. We have two giant electric hoists doing all the work. One hoist will pull us out of the cave, while another hoist will lower a train alongside us, kind of acting as a uh, counterbalance. So just a few moments, to the right-hand side, you'll see that passing train. The Hershen family spent a few months building a small town on top of the original foundations of that old mining town, Marmaros. Well, I tell you what, words can't even describe that experience. I mean, it was amazing. Where do you even start with that? That was absolutely fantastic. Our tour guide, Gage, was brilliant. Oh, it was really good. Some good humour as well. There's some jokes in there. Uh, but honestly, he told us loads of things along the way, which is amazing. So, yeah, big thank you to him. And what a tour. The whole thing lasted about one hour and 15 minutes. It like, was just absolutely fantastic. Like, seeing that in person was really special. I've never seen a cave quite like that before. Have I. Absolutely amazing. It really was. It really makes you appreciate the unique location and history of this park itself and yeah how people came here discovered that many many years ago and then really a whole tourist attraction of Silver Dollar City was built because of that but now absolutely amazing so oh, I loved it down there I'm so glad we went back as well Definitely. you know I'd have been gutted if we'd have missed out on the full experience because when we went down into that first bit that was just the start of a huge tour worth pointing out though of course it is quite strenuous there's quite a bit of climbing up there's quite a lot of um, small little tunnels and places bear that in mind but I would definitely want 100% recommend that. Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, brilliant that was. What an experience. One of my favourite moments of the trip. Oh, so I've got the pianist just over there. Bit of Phantom of the Opera. Well, I think it should more be Phantom of the Water Eyes for Charlotte over here. What do you think? Yeah, Weather's perfect for us now, Charlotte. Oh. It started out a bit grim earlier on, but the weather is lovely. And we're going to head down to check out the new Rapids ride. I say brand new. It's actually been open for a few years, but since I was last here in 2019, it's new. It was under construction, and yeah, I've heard a lot about this. It's Mystic River Falls, and now we probably know why it's got that name, thanks to our tour around the Marble Cave. Woo! Love that. Fantastic. Right, let's make our way down there and go and have a look. So welcome to Rivertown. Last time I was at this park, there was all construction boards up around here. I knew they were building a rapids. However, what they've done with this is incredible. Completely themed to fit in with this beautiful park. It's amazing around here. It really is. I believe they used to have a rapids at this park and yeah it got took out so obviously i never got to experience that yeah i'm really looking forward to this rivertown smokehouse down here another stage with live performances beautiful 
And yeah, I believe there's a huge entrance sign just around here too. Let's go and have a look at that. Wouldn't be an American ride, would it, without a big entrance sign? Oh, and there's the world famous cinnamon bread. Wow, look at that. Mystic River Falls. It was Solar Dollar City. There's the entrance to the queue line. I think it's going to be busy now, the sun's come out, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. Look at this theme around here. Oh! On the guns down there. <laughs> Wow, this looks amazing. It also features one of the steepest drops there on a rapid ride. As we can see, you head up the vertical lift hill and then come down this huge drop just over here. Look at the station. Welcome Ozark Adventurers. Yeah, that's where we are, the Ozark Mountains. How are you feeling about this one, Charlotte? I don't like the look of this one. Oh, I think you're going to be fine. I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> oh, it's a shame we're not actually going to be able to film on the ride ourselves because they don't allow it. However, the park have got some official on-ride footage and of course you'll be able to see just how soaked we are afterwards. Whee! Oh, look at that. Yeah, very strict in America when it comes to on-ride filming, as you probably noticed, but I've always tried to include official on-ride POVs when there's high quality ones available to actually put in. But yeah, this looks amazing. What an area around here. Lots of theming here in the queue line, and yeah, as you can see, it all relates to the storyline and the marble cave that we already went through today. Oh, hey, hey. Well, we've waited about 50 minutes, and our time has come for Mystic River Falls. We're really looking forward to this. I love the storyline and all the theming, and yeah, it looks like it could be quite a soaker. We'll see when we come up, and I'll put in some official POV footage.
over on Mystic River Falls. Here comes Charlotte, she went on. No, what makes it worse is Sean's hardly wet. <laughs> Look at the state of this. My shoes, are, I'm out to take them off. Oh. <laughs> I've got to say though, Charlotte, I have never seen a rapids with a boat so full of water it at the bottom. Like that thick <laughs> water, maybe even more. It drained out when we were going up the lift hill, but oh my God, yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> That's it, it's all coming out. Feet are out. Get them off. Yeah, I mean, I've not done too bad. Let me just show you. <laughs> I can wring my socks out. You know where these socks are going, That's Sean? That's it. They're going in the bin. There we go. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Look at her walking around barefoot now. Oh Don't my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely crazy. Yeah, what well, well be going on? I wish we could have peer read on all there. That. And I don't think I've packed my spare socks. <laughs> You're joking. No. Oh, don't worry, I've got some. You can have mine, Charlotte. I've I'll got some spare. Take them off. Oh. No, I've got them. I've hey. got them. Honestly, I am absolutely soaked. I didn't have a poncho on or anything. Unbelievable. Oh, what a ride. No, it was a good laugh that was. And yeah, the group on the boat really made it as well. We just had some really good fun. One of the funniest boats of the trip that was. It's a shame we couldn't appear a read on there. We had there. such a good group of us. We was all just having a laugh. It was like, oh, you're <laughs> gonna get it, you're gonna get it. And it was just laughing at each other. The thing is on there, it's got loads of smaller drops, which you can't really see from off ride. Like little tiny drops, but literally the boat uh, got absolutely soaked. I've never seen um, a boat fill up so much with water. I've seen wetter rapids. I think Popeye and Blue Toes bilge wrap barges at Universal is still wetter. Uh, however, uh, I've never seen the boat so full in the bottom. It did drain out when we're going up the lift hill though. I've got to say, it's so well themed that ride though. All the rocks around, uh, absolutely amazing. And the drop itself was massive on there. It felt like it was going forever, didn't it? It was so big, but onto the boat, the people who were sat in front of us, their shoes was literally just underwater. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the ride itself, like I say, it's not built by uh, Intamin, who do a lot of rapid, rapid rides. It's actually built by a company called Ride Engineers Switzerland, and also in-house with the park, uh, hence why it's Really I need different. to try and try out. <laughs> I don't mean the boat's the best design on there personally. I do prefer an Intamin Rapids. However, the theme is fantastic, the storyline's great, and we had a good fun laugh on there. It's so well themed, this park. It really is. I mean, look at this, just for a standard frog hopper. It's got this building over it and all the theming. Amazing. Now, this is like the whole Feynman themed area, which is great around here. They've actually got an SNS shop tower. And yeah, that huge building over at the back, obviously, we mentioned yesterday in the day one vlog. How fire in the hole is closing here at Silver Dollar City. Well, yeah, this is set to be effectively the new version, fire in the hole 2.0, uh, as people are calling it at the moment. And yeah, it's a massive show building down there at the back. You can see all the theme facades. And yeah, I'd imagine that's going to be opening next year, which is really exciting. Lucky's Dizzy Dogs just over there too. Yeah, look at this building. It is gorgeous around here. Massive play area in there as well for the kids. I just love this area. There's the whole theme of this park. It's stunning. And yeah, just over here, you got Firefall, which is a very small SNS shot tower. But yeah, you can see it just there. Unfortunately, it's closed. Yeah, well, we should have gone on this one yesterday. Yeah, must be having some downtime. But yeah, there you go. There's a look at the shot tower itself. And there we go. Sign's been moved out. Perfect timing. Let's go and have a ride. Oh, perfect timing there. Walk straight on. And you know what? Them smaller ones, you get a lot more air than the big ones. That was really good. The airtime at the top was fantastic. Two massive pushes of airtime there. Brilliant. Proper Loved ejector. It. that was great. That was amazing. And yeah, this fireman's landing area is beautiful down here. You can see why they're certainly building a new version, so to speak, of fire in the hole down here. Because it's got a full themed area around it. And yeah, I look forward to returning in the future and seeing that. Looks like it's going to be huge from the size of the show building. Oh, now I love eating fruit. I've not really had that much whilst I've been here in America. See, so yeah, I've gone for this ice cream with the strawberries on top just there. Oh, it looks nice. So just around the corner is the Grand Exposition area. We did come down here yesterday to go on the Junior Coaster. I'm going to start to show you some of the flat rides they've got down here too. Here you've got the Zamperla Disco over there. Not particularly heavily themed that ride. However, the area is really nice around here. Here you've got the Spinning Cups attraction over there in the middle too and quite a few other flat rides all around here which is great to see and yeah i do really like the theme and overall look of the area as much as the individual attractions aren't anything too special heavily themed and um, just the area itself is very nice 
There's a swinging ship down here at the back too. And yeah, just off to the left, you've got the spinning pirate ships just over there. And right next door to that, you've got Elephant March. Yeah, loads of family flat rides down here, which is great to see. And there's a wave swinger up here too. What are you going for there? I've gone for a wild cherry Fanta. Oh, slushy. there we go. That looks quite nice, that does. Mm, really nice. Delicious. <laughs> As we showed yesterday, there's so many different shops and stalls here at Silver Dollar City, which really adds to the charm of the park. Look at the size of them tomatoes over there. Here we go, we're in America, we've got to say tomatoes. <laughs> and one of the last attractions for us to go on here at Silver Dollar City is Flooded Mine. It's really hidden the entrance to this ride. I almost forgot about it. Um, yeah, it's a boat ride, but you've got uh, guns and then of course you shoot on there. From what I remember last time, it wasn't anything too impressive, this one. But I thought we'd go on here nonetheless. We walked straight on to the flooded mine just here. I guess that's why they call it the flooded mine. There we go, that's our ride on the flooded mine. It's got some great theming throughout the scenes on there. Well, yeah, I'm not a fan of it being an interactive shooting ride. I mean, the guns, you can tell they're a bit of an afterthought on this. And yeah, your score kind of comes up on the top just there instead, yeah, and the targets aren't that easy either to really see. Yeah, it's got the potential to be a really impressive dark ride, that, but it just doesn't quite hit the mark, does it, really? Yeah, I see what you mean, like, the set pieces in there are really good, there's some really good bits of theming, but the interactive element, it just isn't great, because some of the targets are really hard to find. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely a classic here, I do love a good classic dark ride, but I'd like to see them kind of reimagine it in a way, not make it too modern, um, but yeah, take away the interactive element, improve some of the audio and effects in there, I think it'd be a really good dark ride, but yeah, at the moment, it just doesn't really wow me that much no, you know it doesn't. And the guns are really hard to shoot as well yeah i mean you can tell that it's got the classic vibe about it which i do like but i wouldn't complain if it had some updates too oh another look there the absolutely awesome mystic river falls charlotte loved it didn't you <laughs> are you drying off all right now so oh look it's a nice hot day yeah, though oh i tell you what though i did really enjoy it the look of this rapids it actually looks like a river right with all the rocks at the side it's very nicely designed And of course you've got two other water rides here at Silver Dollar City. You've got River Blast just over here, a very heavily themed splash battle. Where I'm sure you're used to it by now after seeing a couple of vlogs from here. The theming is incredible, it really is. I mean, look at this. One of the best looking splash battles I've ever seen. It's like a raft coming round. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Jungle Cruise, this boat just here. Um, yeah, look at this, fantastic. And you've also got the American Plunge Flume Ride. So we'll show you that just over there. Oh, I know I keep showing you shots of it, but I do love 
Most of River Falls down there. It just looks amazing. It looks really natural. I know it's not, it's all man made, but it looks amazing. I do love that down there. Fantastic. Back down here to Wilson Farms, gonna have another go over on the absolutely awesome Outlaw Run. If you wanna see the park's official POV, I did put it in the vlog yesterday. And you've also got the, uh, the barnyard swing just over here as well. Should we gonna have a go on this, Charlotte? Yeah, it's a big barn with the swing coming through it. Awesome ride there on the barn swing and we only waited five minutes only running the one side today i'm not too sure why uh, but you get some really good views especially looking over at mystic river falls from on there as well yeah really well themed look at the barn and then the actual tower there built in the middle very impressive and talking of towers yeah you've got the two family drop towers over here too it's those where you actually pull yourself up and yeah let yourself whoa never try and talk over a train <laughs> especially this one here it's so noisy i love it well, yeah, we're coming towards the end of our day here at Silver Solar City. There's an hour left. We just had another ride on the absolutely awesome, oh, he's milking a cow, uh, Outlaw Run, which was awesome, wasn't oh, it? Great coast that is, that's it. Right? Oh, brilliant ride. We've done so many rides here across two days. It really has been absolutely fantastic. Oh, we've actually just had our last ever ride on Fire in the Hole. What a great attraction that oh, is. It's so much fun. It's quite scary when you go into the drop and all the water's there. <laughs> I'm going to miss it, but you know what? I can't wait to see the new one. Oh, I'm sure they'll do something fantastic. I'll tell you what, the weather's really picked up. We started our day earlier on with the saloon there. We're just throwing it down. And yeah, look at it now. It's dry now, pretty much. Oh, good. that's good then, Charlotte. But yeah, we're going to have another ride on Wildfire. It's going to get a little bit of off-ride footage for you all with the American Plunge. And yeah, there's a new building going up just here on the right-hand side. Not too sure what that's going to be. Maybe a new food outlet or shop or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just over here on the right hand side. I'm sure we'll see you next time we come to this park. And there it goes, the American plunge here at Silver Dollar City. It's a soaker, that one. And yeah, because we're going to be driving back shortly and you also went on Mystic River Falls, I think you deserve a reprieve there with that oh, one. Thank you so much, that's fantastic. Oh. I'm out. I do want to get soaked again. Oh, there you go. We'll get on another ride on Wildfire yeah, and we'll good. make our way up to the park exit. We're going to get another ride on Time Traveller in. We'll have a look at the merchandise and we'll wrap up our day two vlog from Silver Dollar City. Charlotte's happy now. Well, there we go. We've just done a final few re rides here at Silver Dollar City to bring us to the end of our visit. Oh, we've had a fantastic two days. We have. Should we have a look inside the big gift shop? Show you some of the merch. I mean, yesterday we saw some of the time traveler stuff. We have a look at more of the park kind of uh, logo merchandise. And yeah, a few other bits they've got in here as well. They've got two massive gift shops. Send you through this one and the other one down there too. I do like all the artwork in here. Let's look at some of the t shirts that they've got. Very colourful. Not a massive fan of these actually myself. I prefer the more themed in ones but yeah just thought I'd show you them there with the different rides on selection of mugs just over here with Silver Dollar City on there too shot glasses and yeah various other miscellaneous items just here if we come over here to the right like we said it's the final operating year of fire in the hole and yeah they're selling some last ride merchandise there too ever since the ride opened back in 1972 so you come out of that smaller shop and then you make your way down here to the exit and yeah all the park exits lead through this way into the ozark marketplace and yeah this shop is absolutely massive in here look at this <laughs> it's humongous you got some really good theming in here too in the actual shop itself all around here at the top yeah big marketplace oh this lady's doing like customized umbrellas look at the size of it so you got some caps just over here with the logo of the park on there too. Yeah, and just over here, these are nice t-shirts. I like these ones. Rides are a bit unrealistic on there. I think that's actually the Hulk from Islands of Adventure. Yeah, it actually is. And yeah, you can see you've actually got the tunnel on there. And that's just a very generic loop. So yeah, I do like the design of that. But yeah, that is literally the Hulk from IOA uh, on there, which is quite interesting. I do like the colours of these and the design other than that. I think I'd probably prefer it without the, the coasters at the side, actually. But yeah, the shop is massive. Of course, they sell a lot of park branding merch, but there's also lots of other things as well that you can get, such as signs over here, items for the home, the kitchen, all sorts of stuff, which is really cool. 
certainly very different. Honestly, it's one of the most unique parks you'll ever come to this. What an absolutely amazing two days we've had here at Silver Dollar City. And before we just summarize the whole park experience, let's talk about today's highlights. It's gonna be the Marble Cave, hasn't oh, it? Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. I really didn't expect that inside. It was truly beautiful. It was humongous down there. And just seeing such a natural wonder here at Silver Dollar City, it really makes this park very special. But yeah, we loved that so much. I really enjoyed our ride on the rapids, Mystic River Falls. Oh, nearly dry, only nearly. <laughs> you gotta say that, it's a well themed ride, isn't it? It is, and we had good fun with the people in the boat. Oh, it's a shame we couldn't appear read on there, but uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Along with that, it's been nice getting on the railroad today. That was great. I love the show stop scene on there. And of course, just the overall atmosphere of this park. The saloon show was great. We've seen some great entertainment whilst we've been here, yeah, haven't I we? Yeah, the circus that we saw in the day one vlog. Yeah, of course. Uh, check out the vlog from yesterday to see that. We could film the show, which was great. And of course, we saw the saloon today, which was fantastic too. We've had lots of re-rides here. We've done time travel a countless times. Uh, along with that as well, Outlaw Run, which has been a amazing hasn't oh, it, this I love trip. Outlaw Run, it's my favourite at the park. I'd probably say now, after doing some more rides on there today, maybe Outlaw Run's my favourite here now, uh, but you know what, I still will always have a soft spot for Time Traveller, uh, it is a fantastic ride. Uh, but overall, what makes this park is the stunning location, the beautiful views from the rides, how friendly it is, and also how old school it is as well. Uh, I just love how it just feels like stepping back in time coming to this park. The park is just absolutely fantastic, I didn't realise how heavily themed it would be, like all the little shots and all the details around the park, it really is amazing. In my opinion, two days is perfect for this park. Yes, you can come here for the day and you'll be able to get the rides in. You'll probably get every ride in you want to. But if you really want to immerse yourself in the experience, walk around the shops, enjoy the wonderful food, which has also been great, by the way. And uh, yeah, just soak it all up. Two days, I would definitely recommend. You can see the shows, you can take it more laid back. And you've got to think the overall kind of marble cave experience, including queuing up, can take nearly two hours. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth having a couple of days here to soak it all up. We'll be back in the future. It's definitely. one of my favorite theme parks in the world and I've loved having two days here and of course thanks to the park uh, for having Thank us you so much. really do appreciate it anyways onwards back onto the road to the next part we're going to Six Flags St Louis next and it's going to be coming up here on theme park worldwide but from the absolutely gorgeous Silver Dollar City that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding see you in the next vlog